Good morning, everyone. I'm coming to you from my warm, cozy apartment because it is it is single digits outside, way in the negatives with the wind chill. So yeah, we're uh, we're kind of in hibernation mode, but we are gonna run out to the farm here in a little bit. First, let me catch you up on what you guys have missed. There's been a lot going on, but I've been filming it, but I haven't really been editing much because my editing laptop just kind of not cutting it anymore. But I got a new one that I'm excited about. I can't wait to edit this video and just buttery smooth. So we're gonna get back on track. Man, this the start of the year, it's been going good. Um, I've been working a lot, which is fine because now I'm at a point where I can kind of sit back and relax and do more delegating than working the line by myself. I got a really good crew in. Um, I'm excited about everybody I've hired. We've had a few people come and go. It's the restaurant industry. Any of you guys that have ever worked in it understand. But now we're at a good place. I'm gonna get back into my Sunday, Monday off routine and it's just gonna be lovely. But on top of that, I've been doing a lot of work on the Suzuki. Uh, I've been trying to film some of it, but man, it's uh, that's a hard thing to film. Especially when I'm underneath working on some rusty bolts and I'm busting my knuckles open and screaming profanity. So I pretty much just got home and deleted all of that footage out of, out of rage. But it's made a long way. This is what we started with. This is where we're at now. It's just about there. There's a few more things that I wanna, I wanna do. A winch bumper in the front or some way to get a winch in the front. Um, the rock sliders on the side, that's a big thing for uh, really the protection just because it's kind of long and not super tall. And then I need some kind of roof rack system. I'm not sure how where I'm going with that yet, but that's all, that's all we're gonna kick that can down the road. It's next we're gonna start working on the boat. But as of right now, this next month or two, it is shedding on our time. Yes, you ready, huh? You ready, huh? So I've been doing some work up at the farm. I put up a feeder probably three weeks ago to just try to lure some deer in and take a good inventory of the bucks I have because I, I felt like I, I just stopped getting a lot of quality trail camera pictures. So I put that up, <clears throat> set a camera up. I went back, I, actually let's, let's just roll that footage now. Okay, so I think I have a spot picked out. There's a spot right here where there's just a lot of like crisscrossing traffic. Um, and I have a trail camera down this way that always picks up good pictures. So I want to do it somewhere central on the property so that if I'm bringing deer in, I'm bringing them deep into my land. And I don't want to put it right out in the open I want to have it a little secluded so I think this little area in the trees right here should be good there's it's a major like trifecta of where the deer come from man the snow's really picking up loving it biggie it's snowing it's snowing you excited yeah this is what we're working with once again huggy bear always on the budget clearance Walmart 60 bucks Okay, we are all set up. This is the grain I got here. This is, uh, got this off a of deer farmer on Craigslist. It's uh, cracked corn and uh, rolled oats. And then some Big and J, BB2. This stuff is great for wintertime. Great for wintertime. The only thing is now, I have to get a ladder to get up there. So I got the camera up. By the time I ran down in the cabin and all that, I, don't know, I just I, I was crushed for time, so I had to leave. I didn't film the rest of it. But then I went back a week later. Let's cut to that. Boy, 
What is up, YouTubers? Uh, last week I was up here. I put up a deer feeder in hopes to try to draw the bucks in inventory who made it through the hunting season. Unfortunately, I think some of my bigger ones got wiped out. I haven't had any pictures of them on the trail cams lately. And I know the properties surrounding mine get hunted really hard. So there's that. But I wanted to put up a feeder to kind of draw them in. Hope they shed right at the feeder. But more or less just the inventory who made it through the season. So it's up and active. I was debating on to come this week or wait another week. I felt like a week might be too soon. But I'm glad I did actually come up. Because the trail camera that I put by the feeder. Something happened. I don't know if the batteries weren't good or what. But it didn't take a single photo. So I'm going to replace that trail camera with a new camera and fresh batteries and get that set up today. But other than that, we're just out here enjoying the peace. I'll tell you what, it was so nice to wake up warm and cozy this morning to no alarm and the dog snuggled up with me. I'm gonna get this unboxed and set up right here. And we'll walk up to the feeder. Came with batteries. But it didn't tell you that they explode when you open the packaging. Um, we'll find them. Good to go. So there's already been a ton of traffic through here since the snow came down. It's only like two or three days ago, really. This is one of the paths in to the feeder. Boy, here we are. Oh, wow. Oh, man. This is cool. But it makes me super sad that that trail camera wasn't working. It's only been up a week. And there's all this activity here. But one thing I noticed walking up leads me to believe I haven't missed the shed yet and there's still some big boys here wait till you see this look at this fresh rub that was that was not there when I hung this cam and then over here someone even bedded down right over here this is perfect. All great signs to see. All great signs to see. Okay, so took the old camera down. The new camera's up. Wait, where is it? Bing. That's it right there. So hopefully this works out better and uh, I can catch some action up here. It's so cool that they've just like completely taken to this place. So I'm gonna try not to disturb it too much and we're gonna walk on out of here. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. Uh, I'm gonna slowly tidy up, make my way on out of here. Keep your fingers crossed for me that I find all these shed antlers. About, I'm going to guess about two weeks they're going to start falling. So we'll keep our eyes on the trail cams and see what happens. Let's go. So now we are a week after the last footage you just saw and I'm going to go back up, top off the feeder and pull the first set of feeder picks off, off the camera. So I'm kind of excited, I don't know what we're going to see. It's cold out, it's, it's, it's really cold so we're going to get bundled up, we're going to make the drive to Ohio. I don't know how much time we're going to spend up there, I kind of want to get a few good stills with a snow and a cabin with a nice camera 
So we're going to bundle up. We're going to get up there. And I will see you guys there. We are here. We've made it. I'm going to get some stuff out. I'm debating on whether I'm going to drive out to these cams or not. I think I'm going to try it, though. I'm going to send it. change that and uh get more feed in here and then I don't know, just look around a bit take some pictures call it a day so far so good Loaded. Cameras moved over there, so I got a longer range. And uh, we're gonna go get the other SD card from the trail camera down the valley. It's not too bad out here. When the wind blows, it's really cold, but it's doable. Once we get hiking, we'll warm up. It'll be good to go. So unless anything else exciting happens, I'm gonna leave it here, and I'll see you guys back home I want to show you the sheds I'm looking for all right all right we are home I've started editing I'm gonna end this with first all the pictures from the feeder and then an outro of all the deer I'm looking for so thanks for tuning in I'm glad I got you guys caught up make sure you hit that like button before you leave you have no idea how much that helps me and if you're new, subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Hug your bear. Peace.